In this video, let's learn about mocking HTTP requests when writing tests. To help us get started, I have once again set up some code. Let me explain what I've done. In the components folder, I have created a new folder called users. Within the folder, I have a component file users.tsx. The component makes a GET request to JSON placeholder API to fetch a list of 10 users. This URL is a free API which we can use when learning HTTP related concepts. Please feel free to Google JSON placeholder and learn more about it. Once the data has been fetched, we extract only the user's name, map it into an array and store it in user's state variable. In the JSX, we map over the user names and display them in a list. If there is an error when fetching the data, we set a state variable called error with the text error fetching users, which is then rendered in the JSX. All this is possible with the help of use state and use effect hooks from React. In the test file, I have written a very simple test to ensure the component renders without any errors. If you have understood the setup, here is our goal. We need to write a test to ensure the list of users are being displayed or the error message is displayed if there was an error. Now we could go ahead and write the test, but there is a very important consideration to be made. Real APIs are primarily used only for end-to-end -end tests and not for unit or functional tests. For one, we don't have to ensure the server is up and running to test whether the component renders as intended. And two, since these tests are run quite often, it is not feasible to include real APIs which may even charge you based on the number of requests. What we have to do instead is mock the HTTP requests in our test. In our case, we mock the response to the request with a list of users or an error. For mocking when writing tests with React testing library, the go-to package is Mock Service Worker. Mock Service Worker is an API mocking library that uses Service Worker API to intercept actual requests. It is the closest thing to mocking a server without having to create one. It is pretty feature rich, so we won't be covering every detail about MSW. However, we will learn how to mock the request for our specific user's component. You can then use that knowledge to learn more about MSW and apply the learnings based on your requirements. All right, if it is clear as to why we mock HTTP requests and why we need MSW, in the next video, let's set up MSW in our project.